Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the SAP Business One Product Evangelist. And on behalf of everybody at SAP and our partners at Frontline, I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch today's presentation. So what I'm gonna cover in today's session is I'm gonna take you through a little bit of an overview of SAP Business One. I'm gonna to talk to you about the specific problem that SAP Business One addresses for small and mid-sized enterprises. We're gonna introduce you to a customer that's using the SAP Business One solution. I'll take you through a quick demonstration of SAP Business One, just so you've got a little bit of an understanding of what the solution looks like and how some of the functionality works. And then I'll give you some next steps on how to contact the team at Frontline if you would like to look at the possibility of putting SAP Business One to work in your organization. So with that, let's dive into the main content of today's presentation. Let's talk a little bit about the problem that Business One was built to address. And that is fundamentally this, that most businesses strive for the same thing. Everyone's looking for a roadmap to better profitability and growth. It doesn't matter whether you're a large business or a small business, the challenges are the same. And what are those challenges? Well, people want to increase their customer base. They want to improve customer service. At the same time, they are also wanting to be able to succeed in a competitive environment. They want to react quickly to change. And at the same time, they want to control costs and grow a predictable income stream. So how do they do that? Well, on that path, that journey, if you like, there are roadblocks along the way. So if you think about it, what businesses are wanting to do is they want to respond to market needs a lot faster. They need to improve their profits and their margins. They want to use better tools and technology to give their people uh, better tools and technology to make them more efficient and more productive. And from a small business owner's perspective, they really want to focus on the things that are important. They don't want to be in the situation like this quote from one of our, one of our customers before they started using SAP Business One. You know, their view of the world was that they spent most of their time babysitting the business instead of driving the business. So, you know, they didn't have the time and the ability to focus on the things that were important. And why is that? Because traditionally, for many businesses, they find it hard to get the information they need when they need it. They find it hard to gain efficiency because a lot of the processes in those businesses are broken and they really haven't had time to take their foot off the accelerator and try and do something about fixing those broken processes because it's always full speed ahead. They wanna try and keep multiple systems working together. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this presentation, you might be in that situation where you've got a system for your accounting, you've got a system that your salespeople are using for their Salesforce automation or customer relationship management, Maybe the guys in the warehouse are using a different system and the service department's using a different package. Well, as you well know, better than anybody, it's hard to keep all of those systems working together. And it's hard not to get distracted by the day-to-day -day activities, that process of just keeping the business running. So how do we achieve those goals and yet overcome those roadblocks? Well, the answer to that, we believe, is to provide businesses with a new kind of solution. Because the traditional solutions that they've had have been many different point solutions with limited functionality, hard to get those solutions to work together. They're difficult to change and they're costly to maintain. But what people, what small businesses tell us they want, and at SAP we've got more than 30,000 small businesses who are using an SAP Business One solution. So we get a lot of feedback from them and that feedback goes into our product development. Um, the next version of the product, we take all that feedback, we listen to what the market wants, we look at what the market trends are. And what that's telling us is that people want solutions that are comprehensive. They give them instant real-time access to information. They're intuitive, adaptable, and easy to maintain. So from an SAP perspective, our answer to that was SAP Business One. Was SAP Business One and still is SAP Business One. So SAP Business One is our best fit solution 
for small businesses that have outgrown their accounting only applications or they've outgrown those point solutions where they've got accounting, CRM, warehousing, and they're really looking to bring all of those together. What does SAP Business One offer? Well, it offers simplicity. First and foremost, when you look right throughout the entire Business One solution, you'll see it's been designed to make it as easy to use as possible and fast to implement. These days, even faster with the SAP Business One starter package. And we give you the ability to get a lower total cost of ownership and with a fast implementation, you get a rapid return on your investment. And it doesn't matter what size of business you are, every investment decision has to generate a return. Uh, and that's really what we focus on with SAP Business One. You wanna have comprehensive functionality. And as you'll see in the other demonstrations available on uh, this site, is you can have access to, or you do have access to financials, production, inventory management, sales orders, production orders, customer relationship management, right throughout the entire system, as well as really deep, rich reporting functionality and mobile access to your data. The software is extensible by, by a very flexible SDK and we have uh, a number of industry solutions available from our software solution partners. These are organizations who've taken that SDK and they've built additional complementary solutions which extend the functionality of SAP Business One into process manufacturing or advanced warehousing capabilities with RFID scanning ability, things like that. We've also got business network connectivity. What is business network connectivity? Well, business network connectivity is really about giving you the ability to connect your SAP Business One system with your head office, whether it's running SAP Business Suite or whether it's running another solution from another vendor. With the business network connectivity that we provide with Business One out of the box, you're able to provide that integration and do it quickly and easily and without having to invest in additional software. Couple of quick facts about SAP Business One. SAP Business One is available in 40 country specific versions in 25 languages. We have customers in more than 90 countries around the world. The product is exclusively sold through more than 1,000 partners. And those partners come and they work with you, understand what your business is about, and then help deploy the software so it matches up to your business processes. Not necessarily changing your business processes to the software, but most of our business partners have got a lot of experience in doing these implementations so they can give you advice, hints and tips on how to maybe streamline some of your business processes to get even more of a return on investment in your solution. The SAP Business One product is really designed for businesses with less than 100 employees. Having said that, that's only a guide and it really comes down to the functionality you need and the volume of transactions that you're processing. So what is SAP Business One going to give you? Fundamentally, it's going to give you a single system that's going to streamline your entire business. It's going to give you uniform data across all of your systems. Why? Because no longer will you have one system for accounting, one system for customer relationship management, one system for manufacturing and so on. You're going to have one application that integrates all those critical business functions. It helps you to eliminate duplication and redundancy. And the workflows and alerts in the system will help you focus on the things that are important. So you can get away from that situation where you're babysitting the business. SAP Business One's also gonna give you the ability through the customer relationship management and service functionality to strengthen your customer relationships and loyalty. How is it gonna do that? Well, because you've got that integrated CRM, it's gonna give you a complete 360 degree view of your entire business. And it's gonna make it easier for you to give your customers answers to the questions that they're asking as soon as they're asking them, to anticipate what your customer needs are, and again, as I said, to respond quickly to those customer needs. Business One's also gonna give you the ability to make better, more informed decisions through the 
reporting capabilities that you can see in a lot of detail in the other demonstrations, you'll have a single source for all of your business information. And what you can do is you can centralize the management of that reporting. Why? Because it's all coming from a single system, no matter whether it's the built-in crystal reports in SAP Business One, or you're using business intelligence on demand embedded inside SAP Business One, or you're using the dashboard functionality, which I'm gonna show you very soon in the demonstration. You get all of that reporting from a single point. That means that you can get those answers to those questions that you're asking as soon as you're asking them. One of the other things which makes Business One a great solution is the fact that it's adaptable. So what do I mean by that? If you think about it, with SAP Business One, we are delivering fundamentally an off-the-shelf package with pre-configured content in it, with pre-configured business processes, but it can also be extended. You can do additional configuration with do-it-yourself customization, with user-defined fields, forms, queries, and reports. You can make product modifications without writing code by using uh, formatted searches in the software. You can extend the solution again with those uh, complementary solutions that come from our software solution partners. And you can integrate SAP Business One together with other applications like Microsoft Outlook, uh, and in fact, other products in the Microsoft Office suite as well, like Microsoft Excel. With SAP Business One, we're also offering for you a series of open application programming interfaces, which allow you to write software that talks to SAP Business One, either underneath the hood at the database level or application to application. So you can have Business One controlling what goes on in another application that's running at the same time, or that application can control what's happening inside SAP Business One. Rapid time to value is key because we have an accelerated implementation methodology. Matter of fact, with our new SAP Business One starter package, we have customers going live in as little as three days. And also we try and deploy the solution with minimal disruption. So what do I mean by that? Well, with all of these solutions, you will need some support. So how do we make sure that that is delivered as quickly and as seamlessly as possible? We have a number of tools, such as the remote support platform, which enable us at SAP and our partners to provide you support when you need it, even to the point where we can download patches for you, we can issue fixed packs, we can do diagnostics remotely and um, process fixes uh, remotely as well. So that's really, really critical in making sure that your total cost of ownership is low and that your uptime is kept to a maximum. I talked a lot about this idea of being able to make decisions very, very quickly and easily. And that's where the integration of SAP Business One together with the industry standard crystal reports is incredibly important. What we do with every copy of SAP Business One, with every implementation, we provide a free copy of the crystal reports designer. What that enables you to do is design and modify reports, and then every user in your company that has access to SAP Business One can then run those reports. You can also create engaging dashboards and in SAP Business One, we provide a set of those pre-built, but you can extend those out either working with your SAP partner to have them build them, or if you have the skills internally, you can build your own dashboards and plug them into SAP Business One using the SAP Crystal Dashboard Designer. One of the other things as well that differentiates SAP Business One from the other products on the market is you may recall I talked about the fact that we have localizations for more than 40 countries around the world. All of that is delivered from one code base. Other vendors will provide you applications and they'll say, well, in this country, you need to use product X because that's where we built it and we acquired that product. In this country, you need to use product Y because you know that was a product that we acquired there. And in this country over here, you need to use another product again. With SAP Business One, you have one code base, one product. Matter of fact, you can even deploy that from a central location in a private or a hosted cloud and deliver from that single 
source the application with all those different localizations to all those different countries. And there's no other application on the market today that allows you to do that. Now that drives considerable cost savings in the deployment, and it also drives considerable cost savings in the ongoing support and maintenance. So that was one of the reasons why we really focused hard on delivering that single code base and pulling uh, all of those versions together and delivering that from that one application. We provide reliable and affordable integration for all the people in your ecosystem. I talked about business network integration. That's what this is about. Out of the box, we provide what we call the business one integration for SAP NetWeaver. This is pre-built integration scenarios that allow you to seamlessly exchange business transactions and master data between your SAP Business One system and the bigger SAP Business Suite or SAP All-in-One. You can also take that same functionality and use it for integrating with other applications as well. It's a lightweight architecture. It requires a minimal skill set uh, and that reduces the maintenance requirements as well. But the good thing is with our partner channel, we have hundreds of organizations out there today who understand how this technology works and can provide it for you. On that point, our partner ecosystem is really critical. With SAP Business One, we only deliver the product through partners. Why do we do that? Because uh, SAP Business One partner can get to know your business far better uh, than we can. SAP is certainly a large organization with more than 45,000 employees around the world. But really what we find is the partner's capability to understand and learn about your business, to get to know what it is that you're trying to achieve in your business, to get to know your business processes, really makes a huge difference. That's why we focused on building a strong uh, partner channel, making sure those partners are certified, that they're trained and they understand how to effectively deploy the software for you. So what I'd like to do is introduce you to one of our customers, which is Dave's Gourmet. Dave's Gourmet uh, is a business which you may know. I've got a little video I'm gonna show you, which as soon as you see the video, you'll probably go, ah, now I know what these guys do. Now I know uh, their product. But they are a consumer product company based in San Francisco, which by the way is where I'm recording this video. And they had some particular challenges and opportunities that you'll hear Dave Hirschkopf talk about in the video, but they wanted to you know, manage their growth and increase their revenue, but at the same time, keep a lean staff to keep their costs down. They wanted to improve their information visibility and support that growth. Some of the highlights, they had a rapid six week implementation. They went through a full re-examination of their business processes. They had an automated data migration from their existing system. And, you know, if you listen to what Dave says, it's kind of interesting um, hearing his point about not realizing that SAP had a solution for a business of his size because he's only uh, at the time when they rolled out SAP Business One, they only had nine employees. I think they've grown a little bit since then, but still, still a, a, a small business. Now they chose SAP because we had a full function solution, flexible, stable, and a competitively priced application. And some of the benefits that they've had, if we're talking specifics, and I'm gonna read these a little bit just to make sure I get this right because these are some core numbers that I wanna make sure I get absolutely spot on. They accelerated their order flow and shipping times by 35%, reduced their inventory by 15%, they lowered their incidence of out of stocks by 75%. What do those numbers translate to? Those numbers translate to higher sales and better profitability. So enough from me about Dave's Gourmet. Let me throw to the video and you can hear directly from Dave Hirschkopf and his team. Warning, use this product one drop at a time. Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce is so hot. <laughs> It can be a springboard to YouTube stardom. <laughs> so hot, you'd have to be crazy to try it. What the hell, buddy? And the mad genius behind Insanity Sauce? Oh. Dave Hirschkopf. 
Dave concocted his insanity sauce while running a Mexican restaurant as a gimmick. The idea, though, was not to attract customers, but to actually try to drive them away. You know, we had a lot of drunks come in late at night and they'd steal things and break things. So I started making hot sauces just to mess with them and just see them sweating and just their, their eyes got you know, watery and <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. But the joke, in a way, was on day. The hot sauce was a hit with students both drunk and sober. I wouldn't kid from a virus. Realizing he'd caught lightning in a bottle, Dave began refining his recipe, always striving for ever hotter. I can only make it so hot as like the hottest pepper, but I wanted to make it much hotter than that. So I, I started saying, wow, what if I took the heat out of the pepper and put it directly in the sauce? And that's what I did and made the insanity sauce, which was magnitudes hotter than anything on the market at the time. There were competitors to be sure, and the hot sauce wars heated up. But you can't be on top forever. We're sitting in millions of refrigerators all across the nation, but the same bottle will sit in those refrigerators for two years, a year, three years. If insanity sauce was a cookie, we would have had $60 million in sales at that point. So we sort of reached a plateau where super hot hot sauce wasn't gonna sell that much more. And this salsa's out of stock right yeah. now. And that's when Dave had another one of his great ideas. I decided on pasta sauce as the step forward because they turn a lot faster. You go through a jar of pasta sauce much faster. And over the last couple of years, Dave's business has gone from this to this. Dave, ever the idea guy, comes up with the flavors. The recipes are perfected in this little office kitchen. Yeah, this one, the spices are way out of whack. And Dave's latest brainstorm? Now we have a butternut squash pasta sauce. It's radically different. And so popular, Dave's having a hard time getting production. Sales on the pasta sauces have been fantastic. We're looking at probably 50% plus growth next year. Uh, we had high growth this year. We think the following year we could grow 100%. What department is this? We don't have departments. Huh? Everybody does everything. She's like the everything department. But with just nine employees, keeping track of sauces, shipments, and supplies became too much for Dave's boutique operation. He was searching for a sophisticated business software package when someone told him about SAP. I never would have thought SAP would make a system for a company like us. When I think of SAP, I always thought of this is a company that delivers, you know, multi-million dollar software packages for multinationals. But SAP has taken that global experience and created a powerful package, Business One, for small companies exactly like Dave's. By taking reports and scheduling them and they come to me via email, but it's throwing the information at me that I need to see. Every other day I can have any sort of report come to me in my email, whether I'm here or, or any city in the world, and say, wow, you know, look at that. Um, we're gonna run out of that product if we don't order. It's really helping me be a better manager. Allowing Dave's Gourmet, a company founded on the premise of developing the hottest sauce in the world. I couldn't breathe, I actually couldn't breathe. To grow its business and expand its product lines, Yum. to now meet the taste of just about everyone. Is it good? All right. So now what I'm going to do is take you through a demonstration of the SAP Business One product, same product that Dave's Gourmet Foods are using, and you can see for yourself exactly how it works. So what we're looking at now is the main user interface inside SAP Business One. There's a couple of key things that I want to show you here as I give you a little bit of an overview of what's available for you. In SAP Business One, we're looking at an area that we call uh, the cockpit. Now, what's the cockpit? Well, the cockpit, just like you have if you're flying a plane, it's an area where you can keep uh, track of everything that's going on inside your business. You can manage all of the key performance indicators that tell you whether you're flying straight, level, climbing, descending, all of those kinds of things. So, the thing that the cockpit does is it gives you the ability to customize the experience of using SAP Business One specifically for your job role. So for example, I've got cockpits set up here for people in sales. I've got a cockpit if I'm in the service department, one for finance, 
And as well as that, I've got a cockpit down here for production. And even if I'm involved in marketing and we're uh, working with social media, I've got a cockpit there that pulls together all of my social media information as well. So let's take a look at one of those cockpits. So here's my sales cockpit. This has got a range of uh, different widgets inside the cockpit. Now what I can do with my menu, in order to maximize my screen, I can just push that functionality away to the side and my canvas, which is what I like to call this area on the screen, it uh, fills out and gives me access to more information. So this is a dashboard. This is my sales analysis dashboard, which is showing me my top five customers, my, um, my fiscal year analysis. If I've got sales opportunities in the system, it's showing me my win rate. And we provide a number of these pre-built dashboards with SAP Business One, but you can build your own. I've also got all of my open documents here, so I can go up here and refresh that and I can see how many sales quotations I've got, sales orders, deliveries, an instant picture of what's going on inside the organization. And then to open that, one click brings up all of those open sales quotations that my salespeople are working on. And by the way, inside the SAP Business One user interface, anywhere where you see one of these golden arrows, I can immediately drill down to that underlying document. So there's the sales quotation. It's for Ada Technologies. The contact person at Ada is Mary Brown. There's the customer information for uh, Ada Technologies. And I can, from the customer information, I can also go in here and I can view uh, related activities that have been uh, performed for this particular customer. I can even create my own activities. So this is where we're starting to see this concept of integrated CRM, integrated Salesforce automation right throughout the entire system. You won't see in the SAP Business One a menu that says CRM. Why? Because it's everywhere. Every business has customers. Every solution should be able to manage those customers as a standard part of its functionality. That's what we've delivered with SAP Business One. Let's go back to our cockpit. So I've got my open items list. The other thing that I also have here that you'll notice is I've created what we call a common functions area or I've got a common functions widget. Now in the sales team, I work with sales opportunities, sales quotations, sales orders, invoices, price lists, business partners, and so on. So with this common functions widget, I can just quickly and easily click on sales quotation and bang, I'm ready to start issuing a quotation for a customer. Now, at the same time, if I partway through putting through that sales quotation and another customer rings up and wants to place an order, one click, I can now open up that sales order. Now, we're multitasking because we're a small business, another customer rings up and they want to place a sales order, I can open up another sales order screen there as well. So, depending on how well you are able to focus on multiple tasks, you can have as many of these screens open as you want. And of course, you can jump to any one of these screens up here from the menu by going to um, the, the screen here. Or of course, uh, you can toggle between them just with a simple click. So that's the idea behind the common functions. So really what we're doing is we're making it easy for you to customize the entire experience for you. If I go back here and open up my cockpit again, and I look at this from the perspective of a finance person, you'll see that my cockpit is different for a finance person. I've got my customer receivables aging, my open documents that I'm looking at here are different, and my common functions down here are different as well. So I have my journal entries, journal vouchers, uh, my ability to create checks for payments, my ability to do my bank reconciliations and so on. And those functions, again, accessible with a single click. One of the things that I wanted to show you inside SAP Business One, just to give you a feeling for the depth of functionality that's available, is I want to take a quick look at the sales functions. So if I go in here into my sales module of SAP Business One, you can see we have all these different sales transactions. I've got a sales quotation, that quotation gets turned into an order, which gets turned into a delivery, which potentially can generate a return if a customer needs to send back product. And then that delivery gets turned into an accounts receivable invoice. Now, the great thing about Business One is 
I don't have to go from a quote to an order to a delivery. I can jump straight in here at the invoice level. I can start off at a delivery. I can even go in here and do an AR invoice plus payment. So if I'm running, let's say, a cash desk in my business and I've got customers coming up who just want to buy product and pay for it and go, I can even process that here with the ability to enter in all of the product they're buying using a barcode scanner and at the same time process the um, payment at the same time with a mixture of checks, bank transfers, credit card payments or even cash. So a lot of flexibility there. Again, the main point I wanted to make was that we're delivering you flexibility. We're delivering you the ability to have a complete process, but we're not locking you into our definition of what your process should be. So let's look at a sales order, for example. So here's my sales order. Now, if I want to, I can use the maximum area in the screen, just simply click that, and now I've got a full sales order screen sitting in front of me. I can look up my customer. I can um, choose the customer here, which is Earthshaker Corporation. I can put in a delivery date, I just put D, and that will put in today's date. And now I start choosing my product that I wanna to sell to the customer. If I know what the product is, I can just start typing the code. Or if I know that there is a barcode, I can start scanning barcodes and the products automatically come in. In this instance, I'm gonna start putting in my product. So there's my product, my IBM info print. If I wanna see more information about that product as the customer's asking me when they're on the phone, one click on the golden arrow drills me down and I can look at all that information. A couple of other things that I can do as well. If I'm looking here at the warehouse and I've got multiple warehouses, because this one handles multiple warehouses, all I do is I press control tab and I can now see my stock levels in each of my warehouses. And that control tab key in SAP Business One is pretty powerful because it brings up a whole range of different pieces of functionality. For example, on the unit price, if I press control tab there, what it does is it brings up all the times that this customer has purchased this product and what they paid for it. At the same time, I can even go in here and choose a different customer and see how much I sold it to that customer. So if Bob from Earthshake is on the phone, he says, hey, well, look, I know you're selling that to you know, the guys at Microchips and I know you're selling it much cheaper than that. You can immediately call up Microchips and see all of the times that you've sold the product to microchips and how much they paid for it. Again, the key to this is access to information when you need it. So you put in your product, you put in the quantity, and that's basically it. All I need to do uh, is click on add, and the system is going to go ahead and check that I've got the available quantity. Now, saying you don't have enough stock, what do you want to do? Do you just want to continue and override that? Do you want to change the order quantity so it matches the available quantity? Do you want to display quantities in other warehouses? That's what I want to do. So I'll say display quantities in other warehouses and I'm going to pull this stock from warehouse two. So again, simply, quickly and easily, I've been able to change that information. It's prompted me, it's giving me um, cues the whole way through the process. Now that I've got that done, I simply want to go ahead and add that sales order. There it is, my sales order is now in. And if I want to, I can go ahead and print a sales order confirmation. I can send that out via email. I can fax it out. I've got a number of ways of doing that. And because this order confirmation is built using Crystal Reports, I can make these as graphically rich as I like. So that's just a quick snapshot, a quick look at the user interface and one of the functional areas in SAP Business One. One other area which I would like to quickly show you is the sales opportunity management. Why? Because probably more than 80% of SAP Business One customers utilize this function. Why do they do that? Because the majority of them are in the business of selling either a product or a service. And by the way, that invoicing functionality, even if you're selling services and not items, one click will take you in and allow you to uh, invoice out services. But whether they're selling services or product, they like to be able to start tracking and having a better understanding of what's happening in their sales cycles. 
Business One handles all of that for you through the sales opportunity management. I can create a sales opportunity record every time I'm engaged in a specific sales process to sell products or services to a customer. I can record all kinds of information about this opportunity, the potential, some general information if I'm working with a channel partner to sell that, um, to sell that product. If you're selling through distributors, for example, you can record which distributor is involved. You can customize the sales cycle so it matches your sales process exactly. And then once you've got all that information in there, reporting is really, really quick and really easy. You can, at the click of a button, get an opportunities pipeline and see exactly for each stage in your sales cycle, simply by hovering over that stage in the opportunity pipeline, you can see the dollar value of orders sitting in there, or the dollar value of opportunities rather, and you can even double click on that and drill down and start looking at all of those individual opportunities. Once you're looking at that as well, you can go up here and you can view what we call dynamic opportunity analysis, which will show you all of your opportunities as time progresses, those opportunities moving through the sales cycle. So when you're running your sales meeting, you simply click on the play button and you can see the sales opportunities moving through the sales cycle. You can see the opportunities as they grow in size, whether you lose them, whether you win them, whatever the case may be, and at any stage, you can double click on that opportunity and drill down and look at that in more detail. So some fantastic functionality there. And again, all from one application. No need to swap out into a different customer relationship application. No need to be running any processes to make sure that information is synchronized. It's all delivered through the one product. There's lots of other functionality in SAP Business One around sales, purchasing, banking inventory and i would invite you to take a look at the more detailed demonstrations that are available on this site i'll be there to take you through those but for now let's close the demonstration and i'd like to wrap up this brief presentation so that brings us to the end of today's presentation so let's just quickly recap we started off by talking about the business challenge that sap business one has been built to address for small and mid-sized businesses you then got the opportunity to hear from Dave Hirschkopf and his team at Days Gourmet about why they chose SAP Business One and how it's helping their organization. I then gave you a little bit of a look at the SAP Business One application and how it works. So now hopefully you're in a position where you'd like to take that next step and find out a little bit more about SAP Business One and how it can help you become a best run business. If that's the case, very, very simple. You need to reach out to the team at Frontline. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can go and visit their website at www.frontline-consultancy.com. You can email them at info at frontline-consultancy.co.uk. Or of course, uh, they are in the UK, so you can pick up the phone and call them on 0161 486 4400. And of course, don't forget if you're calling from outside the UK, you need to add the country code of 44 to that number. If you reach out to the guys at Frontline, they'll be more than happy to talk more. Uh, if you reach out to the guys at Frontline, they'll be happy to come out, spend some time with you, talk a little bit more about how SAP Business One can solve your specific business challenges. My name again is Richard Duffy. If you've got any questions that you would like to send through to me, you can reach me. My email address is richard.duffy at sap.com and I'd be more than happy to assist you in any way that I can. So with that, again, on behalf of everybody at Frontline and all of us at SAP, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view today's presentation. And we all look forward to having the opportunity to help your business become a best run business with SAP Business One. Thank you.